Hey, good morning, sports bettors. It is Matt Modi with Dodge Jam. In this video, I am just going to give out three early NFL week eight, which is crazy to think about. We're already eight weeks into the NFL season, but three early week eight NFL bets that I'm going to lock in using Dodge Jam to find these sharp, mathematically profitable bets. But before I get into it, I get into it, just want to do a recap from last week which admittedly wasn't great. Uh, the NBA has gone incredibly well for me, but I'm kind of hit or miss with, with, with the NFL. So the NBA has been great. NFL has been hit or miss. Last year, the NFL was great. Have not found the same success this year. Regardless, for my four sharp bets, I won my lock, thankfully, which was Chiefs money line. Fortunately, I lost everything else. The underdog, I had the Colts. They lost. Player prop had Paris Campbell under. 29 and a half receiving yards that lost and had the Ravens team total over 26 and a half that lost thought I had a chance with the Ravens one they ended the game slowly as they always do bringing my total uh, profit on the season as a whole down to just $69 12 wins 11 losses one push almost exactly 500 which isn't great for my sweat the bets I went one and two last week had the lock which my Chiefs money line hit lost the over excuse me, on the Colts Titans and lost the Bucks minus 10. Not only did the Bucks minus 10 not cover, but they just got spanked and lost outright, which was crazy. Um, these bets all come from the Sweat the Bet podcast, Sweat the Bet presented by Ajdan, hosted by myself and Andrew Kim, aka the Parlay Doc. Um, anywhere you get your podcasts, Spotify, Apple, whatever, you can download Sweat the Bet presented by Ajdan bringing my total picks there, 10, 9, and 2. So again, just hovering around 500. Unfortunate, hopefully we can find some value and keep uh, and can start getting back into the green, more into the green. At least I'm not down on, our, on either of these. But regardless, let's get into it. So using OddsJam, let me refresh the page to make sure that everything is the most current. Using OddsJam to find these sharp, mathematically profitable bets. Using the OddsJam positive expected value page. When you use Odds Jam, you are constantly maximizing the chances, pretty much of making money in the long run of betting on sports. So let's get into it. The first play that I really, I really like here is the Titans minus three against the Texans. So the Texans are known to be frisky, which makes this a little bit concerning. But the Titans have uh, they've played pretty well recently. They have now won three or four straight after beating the yeah, after beating the Colts. Last week, they finally kind of picked it up. So I do understand this one. Just going to be a half of a unit play for me. Titans minus three against the Texans. And we can chat about this one. So when you're positive expected value betting, like I mentioned, you're gaining an edge over the sports book that you're placing the bet with. Uh, in this case, the play is at plus 100 at Caesars. And the no big line prices this uh, just below minus 100. So a little bit more favorable than minus 100. So the gap, even though it's quite small in this case, is where you get your positive expected value between these two numbers. Another thing that I like to do is if you click into a play, it pulls up odds for where every sports book is pricing it. And no book is giving you plus 100 for this play. BetMGM, Betfred, PointsBet, FanDuel, DraftKings, WinBet, BetOnline, FoxBet, all have it roughly for minus 110 uh, or 50-50. But Bookmaker has it as the more likely scenario at minus 111 versus minus 109, slightly still favored, as does Pinnacle at minus 109 versus minus 104. And Pinnacle, Bookmaker, Bet Online, these are all very sharp sports books that we use to kind of set the true line of what a market should be priced at. So the fact that two of the three, Bookmaker and Pinnacle, favor the Titans at minus three is a good sign. So this is something that I like half a unit play on the Titans minus three against the Texans. Texans have one of the worst run defenses in the entire NFL. The Titans should just run Derrick Henry down their throat. Maybe maybe won't be the most high scoring game in the entire world, but uh, what Josh Jacobs did to the Texans last week, Derrick Henry could easily do as well. So for my first bet, we are looking at the Titans minus three against the Texans. Let me save this, add it to my bet tracker. Let me refresh the page, make sure I'm getting the most uh, up-to-date odds. And the next one that I really liked here is the under 44 in the Eagles versus Steelers game. So let me go ahead and lock this one in. 
on this is on circa sportsbook you can also get it for plus ev if you want to go to points bet and lock it in under 43 and a half i think both of them are worth half unit plays i prefer this one at under 44 at minus 105 i think it's a little bit of a better value 50 bucks again half of a unit play on this one let me add this one to my bet tracker and similar logic here, right? The odds jam, uh, no big line calculated from all of these different sharp sports books. Price this at minus 107. We can get it at minus 105 on Circa. So again, the gap between those two numbers is your profitability right there. And same logic here. So Pinnacle prices this at minus 116. DraftKings at minus 122. Another thing that I like to do is if you open up a page, the if you view the event page, in a new tab, it pulls up the holistic betting market and what they price plays at. So what we can see here, the main line for this uh, prop is either 43 and a half or 43 if it's not priced at 44. And we're getting it under 44 at minus 105 on Circa. Bet Online has it at 43. Bookmaker, or excuse me, Bet Online 43 and a half. Bookmaker has it at 43 and looks like pinnacle prices this at 43 and a half as well and we're taking an under so point spreads totals you want to open this up in a new tab and you want to see where every sports book not only do they price the individual odds for a specific play like 44 44 and a half whatever but you also want to just see where these books are pricing lines so you can line shop and take advantage of sports books that have mispriced odds like this circa sports one here at minus 105. Another good play is if you want to suffer a little bit of juice, but a little bit safer, take the under 44 and a half at minus 114 on FanDuel. That would also be a good play. Uh, but I liked getting the better odds, minus 105 on Circa. I thought was worth it. But regardless, all of these books favor this going under, uh, especially the under 44 number. And from handicapping purposes, I mean, the Steelers offense is terrible. They, they just can't get anything going. They just scored 10 points against the Dolphins, who have a very bad defense. Now they're playing against an Eagles team that has a very good defense. And the Eagles have been known to kind of sit on leads and not necessarily run up the score. So if the Eagles are up 13-7, 13-3 at halftime, they're going to run the ball. They're going to play uh, ball control, clock management, and they're going to just let the clock wind down. So in this case, the under makes a lot of sense from handicapping purposes. So this is my second play is the uh, Steelers Eagles under 44 minus 105 on Circa. And the last play, we are actually backing the team playing Monday Night Football tonight. And we are backing the New England Patriots minus two and a half at plus 100 at Circa. This is against the Jets. So the Jets are one of the darlings of the NFL, them and the um, them and the Giants, the two, the two New York teams. Who would have thought how good they would be? But looking like their luck is going to run out finally next week against the Patriots. So another half unit play, three bets, three half unit plays. So let me add this one to my bet tracker. And the logic why I like this one, I mean, so plus 100 on Circa, every other book has this at minus 110, or they favor the Patriots at this number. Bet Rivers, minus 112, the other side at minus 109. Typico, same thing. Bet Online, Sharp Book has this at minus 110 each way. Then if you view it in a new tab, so it's pretty much across the board. Every book has this at two and a half, so it's not as good. Uh, in terms of line shopping difference in the Steelers Eagles game, but I still do think this is a very good play. No big, no big odds price this as more favorable than the plus 100 we are getting on Circa. So this is going to be my third and final uh, early line shopping bet for week eight of the NFL season. Patriots minus two and a half plus 100 at Circa. And the other two, Steelers Eagles under 44 and Titans minus three as my to, to round out my last three bets. So if you're tailing these early NFL bets, let me know. We'd love to hear it. Comment on the video with your feedback. Other than that, appreciate you guys watching. Enjoy the next NFL week and have a good one.